Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Let's get right into this. This is Luke chapter 17, verse 11. As he was on his way to Jerusalem, Hebrew, Yerushalayim, he was passing along the borders of Samaria and Galilee. As he entered into a certain village, ten men who had lepers met him. Okay, let me just stop here for a second. You need to realize that Samaria was not considered to be a very good country, not considered to be a very good region. They were half-bred Jews. They weren't full-bred Jews. And a lot of the Samaritans weren't even accepted among the Jewish population at all. They were considered to be heathen. Okay, let's, let's read on. This is verse 12 again. As he entered into a certain village, this would be of Samaria, Samaria, ten men who were lepers met him, who stood at a distance. They lifted up their voices, saying, Yeshua, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Why would Jesus say something like that? You know, it says in the Torah, again, Jesus is always going by the Torah, okay? What would Jesus do? WWJD, Torah. Jesus said, go and show yourselves to the priest. So what does he mean by that? Why would he say that? Well, if you know the Torah, when a leper is healed, when you have leprosy and you are healed of that leprosy, you're supposed to go and show yourself to the priest. So when Jesus said to the lepers, go and show yourself to the priest, he was saying you know, without explicitly saying it word for word, he was saying, you're healed. Go and show yourself to the priest now. Go do what you have to do. Let's read on. As they went, they were cleansed. Now, sometimes when you are obeying God, you won't see the blessing before or as you when you start obeying God. You will see the blessing as you obey God. It's like, when uh, the uh, the priests and the people, when they were coming from the promised land, in or come, excuse me, coming from the wilderness into the promised land, they were cro- they were going to cross the Jordan. Okay, the Jordan River was flowing at the time. It says that they just went forward. They were they were just walk marching forward, walk you know walking on as if they were going to walk right through the river. And when their when their feet touched the water, then the water was stopped. And they walk through on on, uh, more or less dry ground. Okay? In the same way, when you obey God, as you obey, it doesn't seem, you got to step out and you got to do it in faith first. You might not see the blessing right away. You know, God might say, hey, go, you know, go east. You'll find, uh, you know, go east. If you turn east, there's a, there's a, a well there for you to, for water. You might not see the well, but as you go, then you'll, you'll then you'll find it. You know, as you obey God, you will get what God has for you. As the priests, uh, you know, obeyed God in the time of Joshua, they marched on as if they were like as if they didn't even see the water. And as they as their feet touched the the water of the river Jordan, the river was stopped, and then they could walk through you know, without any hindrance of walking, you know, getting drowned or whatever, you know, in the water. Uh, so, yeah, you might not, you know, God might God might have you, you know, figuratively speaking, standing before a river. And he might say to you, okay, well, walk on through the river. Walk through the dry ground. And he might say, what do you mean? I don't see it. You part it first. Part the river first. You know, stop the river from flowing first, Lord, then I'll walk. No, God's like, no, you walk first, then I'll do it. Okay, so that's what happened here with the the men with leprosy. Let's read on. Verse 15, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turning back, glorified God with a loud voice. He fell on his face at Yeshua's feet, giving him thanks. He was a Samaritan. Hmm. Jesus answered, Weren't the ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Were there none found who returned to give glory to God? Except this foreigner? 
Then he said to, to him, Get up and go your way. Your faith has healed you. Now, again, in this context and by implication, you, you would see that it seems like this, uh, this man alone was the only Samaritan. The rest of them were Jews. That's the way, that's the way it sounds, the way, the way it talks. I mean, the way Jesus talks here, obviously. What's Jesus trying to say here? He's trying to say, you need to be thankful. You need to be grateful for what God does for you. You need to be humble. Don't have a spoiled brat attitude. I know a lot of people today, you know, especially in the developed world today, there are a lot of people. They may be in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s and just spoiled brats they are. No matter how old they are because they've, they've had it so good all, the, all along. And they're not grateful for what God has done for them and what God is doing for them in their life. They're not grateful for what they have. Ungrateful little spoiled brats they are. Don't be like that. When Be thankful for everything that God has for you. Even the air you breathe, the water you drink, the chair you're sitting on, the home you live in. And if, even if you don't live in a home, be thankful that you're alive. Be thankful you're probably clothed. Be thankful you probably, you know, you probably have things that a lot of people, even rich people, don't, do not have. Be thankful that you have the Word of God. Be thankful. Be grateful. Never, ever act like a spoiled brat, you know, in front of the Lord. As you, as you go your way, may God enlighten the eyes of your understanding and give you great and mighty revelation as He shows you great and mighty things. In the name of Yeshua, thank you.